Welcome back to the Gaming Club who are in the Dojo channel for uh, lockdown learning and just learning in general to be honest. So I'm Sensei Bradley and we're going to be just doing a couple very easy techniques to just start the channel off and then throughout the weeks there'll be loads of advanced training coming in as well. Uh, probably by me or some other senseis as well. So stay tuned and subscribe, make sure you subscribe to see all these and uh, like all the videos because that helps out to know what we should be doing more of and what we should be doing less of. Okay, so to start this lesson off, it's really basic, we're just going to do a block and then a punch. Okay, so first thing we want to do is to step down, Gidan Barai, downwards block, just like this. Okay, now from this position, okay. We're going to step backwards and we're going to do Gidan Barai. So, this is your intermediate position. You can see how my feet are basically together. My right hands come up to my ear. Just come up to ear. It always makes me laugh as that. Come up to the ear. And then, this hand is a marking hand or a punch to the groin if they're coming at you. Step back and then sweep down. And as you do that, the other arm comes back and the hip, this blocks and this one pulls back onto the hip at the same time. Okay, so just to go over that, we've come to here, we're going backwards, knee down the round, and then we're going to come forwards. I can raise this hand that's just blocked to become a marking hand, and I can step through, and I want to punch, always okay, just like that. Okay. So, to go through all that again, we've started here. Step back, gee down bra, step forwards, always okay. Just like that, okay. So, we've done one block going backwards, one punch going forwards. We're going to do the exact same, but instead of going doing, doing a gee down bra downwards block going backwards, we're going to do an agioki going backwards this time. Okay, so we're, we're in our always okay position. This time, the marking hand is a bit different. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit and then strike it into somebody's eyes there. Eyes, throat, potentially even solar plexus. So, from here, we're going to step back just as we did before. And then this time, it's like an agiuki, the rising block, is like a punch of 45 degrees up there. Yeah? So that is what you want to be aiming for. But as well as that, it's not just a punch up here because if I just punch up here, you can see I've got all this room that I could be hit with. Yeah? So it has to, to some extent, come up like here, if you know what I mean. Here. So it has to come across your body first and up. So you're not getting hit by any straight punches as such. Okay, so now we've done the idea okay. This time, well, it's the same as the last one. Punch, always okay. Alright, so we'll do that a couple of times. This time, from here, step back, right hand comes all the way up. So it's okay. And then guess what? Yeah, so to do the so it's okay. Foot comes up, arm comes up, foot goes back, arm comes across my body. This is wrong. You can clearly see why it's wrong on the, on the camera right now. Because you can see I'm going to get punched here. Yeah? Not what you want. So, so it's okay. Your block actually comes past your body. So if a block, a punch did come, it deflects off this block and goes over there. Okay, so from here, this sort of okay. Always okay. Okay, so we've done three blocks there. This time, uchi okay. So from here, we step back. Our marking hand is the one we punched with. Our blocking hand comes underneath our Mark in hand, we step back and we 
push our hips one way and then block the other. Step forward punch. So keep our marking hand out, which was the punch in hand. The block in hand comes underneath this arm, steps back and we push our hips one way and then block the other. Okay, so a little bit different now. We're going to step back, but we're going to go back to this marking hand. Yeah, you can see what I did. This marking hand again, the one we did for the Ag UK. Okay, so from here, we're going to go marking hand, step back. This time, blocking hand comes up to ear again. Yeah, remember that funny joke up to ear, and then we're going to step back. We're going to step back in line. So you can see that I'm now in a core foot sudachi stance, which means back stance, yeah? And the percentage of your weight, instead of it being 100% like this, so 50%, 50% on both feet, when I'm like this, when I'm in this position, my feet uh, weight percentage should be around about 60 to 65 on your back leg, 40 to 35 on your front leg, yeah? So, Pretty much perfect. All right, so where were we? From this always okay. Marking hand, step back in line, blocking hand, that's gonna be the blocking hand, I mean, comes up to ear, and you step back, and then, shoot out okay. All right, now from this position, we're going to do the always okay that we did, but it's not gonna be always okay. The feet movement's gonna be the same, it's just gonna be a, Nukite, which is an open handed strap there. Yeah, knife, knife hand. Okay, so from here now, we're going to do the shutoki again. So you can see where this hand is going to protect my heart here. And then we're just going to go just like that. All right, so now from here, the last bit we're going to do in this is we're going to go backwards, Gidan Mara. Forwards, always okay. Backwards, Agi okay. Forwards, always okay. Backwards, Sot okay. Forwards, always okay. Backwards, Uchi okay. Forwards, always okay. Backwards, Shuto okay. Forwards, Nukite. And on the Nukite, you're going to Kia. Okay, if you don't know what Kia is, it's basically just a really big shout to release all your energy and to add extra power into your move. Yeah, so you're going to go, ah, ah, yeah, comes from here, not here, yeah, ah, ah. okay, so let's, let me show you that. So from here, key down the round, always okay, and you okay, always okay. Sort okay, always okay. Uchi okay, always okay. Oh! The last two were Shuto okay, Nukite. Hopefully, you've learnt something there and you've got a bit of a sweat on. If you don't have a sweat on, do it again. Okay? Don't forget to like the video like all our videos, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on what you want to see, leave a comment on what you don't want to see, and vice versa. Well, not vice versa, because I already said the vice versa bit, but you know what I mean. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.